Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this video has been requested for a while now, ever since I cut my hair short, and that was way back in March, and it is already November, but I finally got around to it just because after March, I wanted to cut it even shorter, and I did, and I was just, I don't know, I was just too focused on filming other things. I honestly wanted to film these short hair hairstyles a long time ago when my hair was really short, but I mean better late than never. So my hair is short to medium length now um, it's still short obviously but it's not above my shoulders anymore which is great I want it to grow out you guys I regret cutting my hair but hey I can't go back these are the kind of four hairstyles that I would really do now that it's cold because over the summer and just really around the house since I do online school now I just kind of keep my hair up and out of my face but every time I try to go out these are some hairstyles that I would typically do if you guys want to learn about these four hairstyles then just keep watching so for all these looks I'm gonna begin by just taking my hair out of the bun that I had it in before and just taking a comb I do not brush my hair not really ever um, my hair doesn't really get tangles or anything so uh, when I do looks like these when I use heat I just like to use a comb to just kind of comb through just in case and then I'm going to take the other end of my comb and just do a middle part Taking my Not Your Mother's dry shampoo, I'm just going to spray this in the roots of my hair because when I did film this, my hair was about two days old, so I just sprayed this just to give my hair a little more volume. Once I sprayed that wherever needed, I'm just going to scrunch up my hair and just kind of blend it all over into my scalp. Then I'm taking my Trust My Heat Protectant and just putting this all over my hair and then I'm going to just wait for it to dry. Then taking a one inch wand, I'm just going to leave a space from my scalp so about two inches from my scalp and two inches from the ends of my hair and just going to give myself a textured wave and I'm going to be doing them in opposite so each hair strand that I pick I'm just going to do the opposite way that I did from before and so I'm doing away from my face and then towards my face and I'm just going to keep doing that all over my hair and I didn't section off my hair into layers because again I just wanted it to be textured I didn't want to go to the extreme curl and then to just set all of these waves I'm just going to put my Not Your Mother's Beach Babe hairspray so that I can have those beachy waves. Once I am done spraying that, I'm just going to scrunch up my hair so that the spray obviously dries and sets in there and just so my waves can be a little extra. So this is by far my favorite look from all of these and I'm just going to take a section from my hair up in the front and I'm just going to really Dutch braid. So I'm going to just braid the kind of first part underneath each other. I mean I can't really exp explain braiding besides saying Dutch braid or French braiding. I'm going to Dutch braid at first and then I'm going to end up Dutch slash French braiding all the way down to the kind of point that I want to get it to. So once I have enough hair to the point where I want it to be, I'm just going to braid the rest all the way down. And then I'm just going to tie the ends with a little elastic. And before I do that, and after that I secure it with an elastic, I'm just going to pull out the braid as much as possible until I don't really have any more area to pull it out from, just to make it look a lot more fuller and thicker.
Taking some bobby pins, I'm just going to pin it underneath my hair to kind of give it more of a crown look. If you want, you could totally pin them together in the back of your head if you kind of like it showing if you have longer hair and you want a strand at the end showing. But I do have shorter hair and I don't know, I just like the crown look. And I'm going to just do the same thing on the other side. And once I secure it, that is it for this look. So for this look, I know it's pretty self-explanatory, but this is just the way I do it. I'm just going to take out my braids, and then I'm going to just kind of take it around where my forehead ends and goes into my hairline and just kind of make a crown. And then just shake off the ends just kind of make it as even as possible because obviously your hairlines are going to be showing and not using a comb but using my fingers because I like the little messy kind of look it gives me I'm just going to brush up my hair all the way to the top and I do like the little bun kind of in the middle of my head and I'm just going to wrap around my hair And I'm just going to secure it with the hair tie right there that's on my wrist. And to secure it a little bit more, I'm just going to be taking those bobby pins and securing it down because throughout the day, I know it's not going to be perfect, so I keep some bobby pins handy. And just to touch up from the braiding that we did, I'm going to just curl the ends again the way I did before, just very lightly, nothing too much. And once I'm done with that, that's it for this look. So for this look, this is basically the same thing. I just let out my bun and I'm going to be making a crown around my forehead into my hairline. But this time I am going to be taking a comb just because I'm going to be ending up tightening the hair up because it's going to be a little ponytail on my head. So I'm just going to be taking a comb and then kind of teasing everywhere inside of it just to give myself a little bit more of a poof and then I'm going to be securing this with a little elastic not a hair tie because a hair tie would show a lot more and if you like that go ahead feel free but this is just how I do it I'm going to secure it with a little elastic And once I'm done securing it, I'm just going to play around with it and see where I like it towards the middle of my head and just keep tightening it until the poof and the pony are exactly where I like it to be. And then taking a section from that pony, I'm just going to grab, again, a little section from underneath to where you can't really see it and just wrap that little piece of hair around the hair elastic so that you cannot see it. And then again with those bobby pins, I'm just going to secure where I wrapped the hair. And to touch up the pony, I'm just going to again curl whatever is just falling out at this point. And you guys can totally tease the pony, but I just don't have a teasing comb and I don't like messing up my hair like that. But feel free to do whatever you'd like. And once I'm done curling, that is it. So for this look, I'm just going to do my normal hair part, which is kind of towards the side. And I'm just going to really easily just lift up my hair and do a low bun. Self-explanatory, just wrap my hair, secure it with a hair tie, and then just put those little hairs that I have right there on my face so short and they barely stay behind my ear because they're still growing out. But they stayed and I'm just going to put them behind my ears just because I don't like those they're too curled and just, 
I don't know. I don't, they really bother me. But um, other than that, I'm just going to take out whatever little flyaways that I want out and just quickly curl those to where I don't burn my hair off. And that is it. Pretty self-explanatory, but these are the four looks that I do. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed all of these looks. I know there was only four and I know they were all curled, but if you guys want to see another one of these videos but with straight hair, just let me know in the comments down below and I will definitely get around to that uh, soon, sooner than this one. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, I love you guys all so much and I will see you guys real, real soon. Bye, guys.